What's up, guys? Hey, this is Gazelle, and little trippy here. Got some uh, Call of the Dead zombies. I haven't done zombies before, but uh, I'm gonna do this one a little differently. I'm gonna attempt to do this snipers only, but I'm gonna allow myself. Like you already saw, I bought the M bought the M14. I'm gonna allow myself to use the M14, so otherwise it would be utterly impossible. Um, it's also my first live com. Where are the zombies? My first live com, so bear with me. Has got a little first live com going. I'm not feeling well. So this could be interesting, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Oh, I'm gonna get pissed George off. Nope. Huh. He's a little tired, I guess. <laughs> Um, I've done this a couple times before. Made it to round 12 and round 13. And I'd like to make it. Initially, when I first started this, I wanted to do 20, but after 12 and 13, I don't know. I'll shoot a goal for a goal of 15, and we'll see if we can get there. Uh, we'll see. That's a good goal. Uh, oh, really? Die! Oh, now I gotta back up. Oh my god. I'm not gonna buy quick revive right yet. Right yet, wow. Um, because I don't have enough points. Oh, how did that even piss you off? I wanna have enough points to get Jugger after like round five. I'm hoping. Hopefully, I'll get like a double points or something like that, that would really help, but, um, oh, we can finally see I'm you. dead, um, and I, I don't really see a point in getting quick revive right away, if I die before round 5 or at round 5 or something, I, I don't know, just start over all, do it all over again, figure if you can't get that far, may as well, just go ahead and die, although I was doing this, I was playing the other day, <laughs> I'm sure, well maybe you haven't done this, but um, the first guy literally killed me. That was uh, pretty awful. Instead of, oh, that's two. There it is. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Ah. So I won't die. I'm doing terrible with these double points. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kind of concentrating here. As you can see, I suck at live comps because I can't even... I have to concentrate super hard on level 3. Oh well. I'm sick, that's my excuse. What's max ammo? Check <laughs> I think it's like 8,000 points this I gotta get to in order to open Jugger from here, so that's the goal. Let's see if I can run around and not die while using a pistol, which is not easy. talk about let's talk about something here. Um, I'm a huge movie I don't want to say a movie buff but I like watching many and all movies. I love um, superhero movies. Any superhero movie I will go and see no matter how bad I know it's gonna be. For example, I, well I didn't go see it in the theaters but I did eventually see the movie Electra which everybody knew before even watching it that it was gonna be terrible. As did I, but I had to see it anyway. So it's super good. But some uh, good ones that good ones that came out this year. X Men First Class was awesome. Um, along with Thor, I thought Thor was really good. And it was funny. They did a good job on Thor. I really like that. But, um, wasn't as 
as big of a fan of Captain America. I thought it was good, but it was just, I don't know. Parts of it were just kind of boring and it seemed it was like a period piece, which I never really care for. Anyways, so I kind of I kind of don't see a point a lot of times in period pieces because it's like they don't seem to have an ending or a proper ending. I don't know. It's just me. My wife hates it. This time of the year right now is you know when all the Oscar movies are coming out. They're more you know you have film festivals and whatnot. This is like she loves this stuff. Not that she doesn't like the blockbusters during the summer and whatnot, but she loves going to see movies this time of year. And I hate them. I think they're all trash. I hate almost all Oscar movies. And I'm not saying that the movies are bad. I just they're just not. Bad. I missed them like four times. Yeah, you guys will find out. Stop zooming on somebody else. Go. Go. Find out how bad my sniping is. Ooh, what is that? Let's throw a grenade over there. It's a kill! I should be killing that over there. Huh? Alright, let's go over there. Get that insta kill. Don't kill me. Alright, we're doing good here. We are definitely gonna need to save a guy and go get Chugger after this. Make sure I don't kill everyone. It's gonna be suspicious. Is that the last one? Nope. Oh shit. Come on, guys, we can work this out. Looks like it's a crawler, otherwise, whatever. <laughs> See what happens when you screw with me? Oh, I got to the power. I always forget that one. Nice. Anyways. Well, I've been concentrating too much. So, back to movies. Um, like I said, big superhero movie bus. Some of my favorite movies. I can go over. Um, my favorite movie of all time is a movie most of you have probably never heard of. It's a Bill Murray movie called The Man Who Knew Too Little. And it's not a serious movie that, it, you know, if you take it seriously... Um, as you would see if when you when and if you've seen it um, it's kind of just a whole big joke but the movie is absolutely hysterical um, some just great quotes for the movie if you haven't seen it go check it out if you don't have Netflix get Netflix because you're an idiot you if you don't have it um, and it's on instant watch there so check that one out um, some of my other favorite movies I love old Jackie Chan stuff so I'm a huge fan of Shanghai Noon and Shanghai Nights because Owen Wilson is hilarious as well. Um, <laughs> Tommy Boy. Huge Chris Farley fan, so. I love Tommy Boy. Alright, concentrate here. What do I want to do? Do I want to go for the box? Where's the box? I kind of want to open this up. I'm going to open this up and have a place to kite zombies. <laughs> oh, I, I'm not a, I don't think it's going to be a huge deal. Wow, every single time I've played Snipers Only, it's always been right there. Martin, That's weird. Uh, could we get a um, some more ammo? But my th my thinking here is, I don't have a lot of M14 ammo. Well, I have a decent amount of M14 ammo, ammo, but I can kite them here, and then when I have enough points, I can go and try and get a sniper rifle. It's, oh, that was perfect. Nice. So oh, get a bunch of points this, this round. Save a guy, and then... Go get, um, try and go get a gun. I probably should have gotten quick revive, but it's too late now. Kind of forgot about that. Oh well. But where, where is this? Okay. Alright, so. Movies. I can't think of any more movies off the top of my head. Like I said, I'm a really huge Chris Farley fan. Um, Tommy Boy is just one of the greats. And his best of SNL is the best, best, of, best of. Oh shit. Oh, that's not good. And. Uh, like TV, I've gotten into a lot more TV lately through Netflix and their instant watch, and started to watch a lot more 
stuff that I just never would have watched when before. Um, Firefly was told to me or shown to me by a friend of mine, and he, you know, just raved. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, that's not good either. I don't want that. I don't want that. Give me that. Oh, I didn't get it. Alright, now I can get it. Maybe. This could be trouble. The dust machine is good, but... Let's get the bomb. Get some hits on George here. The dust machine is good, but... It can get you into a lot of trouble because you're slower, you can't get out of situations. Level 6 here, you could probably find because they're not going very fast, but... You gotta be careful with when you get it. I probably should watch my back, but... I have 8 bullets, I'm so screwed. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kite all these, and then run over, get quick revive, get more ammo. So... Yeah, if you don't like... Somebody running in circles, kiting zombies. You're not really gonna like this live com, especially since it's, you know, I don't have anything to specifically talk about. I'll go over some stuff. Um, like I said, I, I can go back onto the TV shows. Um, Firefly, if you haven't seen Firefly, it will blow your mind. It's an amazing, amazing TV show, and unfortunately, it was only on for one season as Fox cancelled it. Um, I won't go into that, but oh hell, we have time. <laughs> Hopefully we have time. Um, Fox like aired the, the show out of order, it showed it on different dates all the time. It just, it didn't really give it, you know, what it really deserved. The first episode, which is the uh, like an hour and a half long pilot, and it really introduces you to, to the characters, um, very well. Oh, Fox didn't air that until like the very end. Why is that guy there? You're killing me, bud. Um, Fox didn't air it until the very end. Which means that the first episode, it, it you, you kind of watch it. If you if you watch, the first episode is called the, the Train Job. And it's actually the second episode if you watch it on Netflix or if you have the DVDs. And when you watch it, knowing that that was the first episode that they ever aired, you kind of start to wonder, like, what they were doing, and I don't, do I have time for quick revive? Why not, right? You wonder what they were doing. Alright, hold on, I gotta concentrate. What do I want to do? Which way do I want to go? Going back that way is probably a bad idea. I'll open this up over here. Huh? Um. So anyways, yeah, Firefly aired out of order. Um, it was, it got such a great following that after it was canceled, um, they were able to convince Fox to put together uh, a movie called Serenity, which is an awesome movie, even if you haven't seen Firefly, but you really should still see Firefly first, obviously. And, uh, guys, why are they spawning in? weird. Anyways, um, so yeah. Check out Firefly. It's done by Joss Whedon, who is just a freaking genius uh, writing for TV. He also wrote uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which is another great show. One that my wife forced me into watching, and I'm glad she did, because the show is just incredible. The The writing is, is really, really good. It's a hilarious show. Um, it does a great job of... Uh, having character development you know the characters just aren't the same person over I think the show was on for seven years they're never the same person they grow they change um, and you know it kind of like changed the way I watch television now you watch a show like um, one of the one of the one of the characters in Buffy uh, was was Angel by the actor David Boreanaz, and he's now on a show called, oh damn it, I knew the show before, um, whatever, he's on, a, he's on a show right now, and if you watch it, like, I, I watched the pilot, and I, my buddy tells me to watch the show, and he says it's really good, and, and I'm sure it is, but 
in the in the in the first few episodes that I saw, there was like some sexual tension between like the main guy and girl, and it's like in the eighth season now, and that's still going on. And to me, it's like like no, like I'm not gonna sit down and watch eight seasons worth of will they won't these two get together, you know? It, they're just kind of like conning the audience along. And instead of like writing good character development where, hey, maybe they do get together and it doesn't work out, or maybe, and, you know, and then later on it works out in the end, or something like that, even that would be better than, um, you know, just kind of stringing us along the entire time just because they know that's how they'll keep their viewers. Um, okay, here we go. We gotta get a crawler. Right behind me. That might be too close to me. Nope. Peace. Alright, that dude. This guy's too nice. Really? God damn it. Um. So yeah, just, you know, like, that's one thing that I love about Joss Whedon and his characters is they, they develop, they grow, they change. Um. Oh yeah, it's back this way. I, uh, you know, I, I know you're all skeptical, or maybe some of you aren't that have already seen Firefly or Buffy, but check out Buffy, check out Firefly. If you watch Buffy, there's a spin-off series called Angel. Guaranteed if you watch Buffy, you'll want to watch Angel, so I won't even tell you to watch that one. Sniper Rifle! Sniper Rifle! Mm, I'm gonna take it. I have no bullets for the pistol anyways. This'll count, right? I can knife people. Shotgun. Ugh. Um, he also did a show called Dollhouse. Now, I watched, like, I think I watched one episode of that. I just couldn't get into it. Plus, I knew the show was being canceled, and I didn't really feel like watching another show that got canceled before the writer got, you know, time to really finish what they're trying to do. Holy crap, are you serious? Alright, I gotta go get Flopper. And I can get Flopper. It's open. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna get pa oh don't say it I can't say it now but I am right I'm gonna get past level 13 how could I not with a scavenger oh my god I'm so excited I am so excited this is me excited everyone well I'm sick I guess in case you're wondering <laughs> 